When the African slaves were brought into the U.S. of A. by the pharaohs and octagon, they were already circumcised, as blacks always were pharaoh's slaves. The Civil Rights Act of July 2nd, 1964 was in fact not so much the blacks being given the same civil rights as the whites, but it was rather the whites becoming slaves as well. With the highest peak of circumcision rates of the US history in that very same year of 1964, where 90% of all US male slaves were circumcised. And funny enough, one of the consequences of 9-11 is that after 2001 the circumcision rates in the US went into a decline. I suppose not so many people felt like resembling a Muslim anymore, circumcision-wise spoken, naturally. The US is the only country in the world where males get circumcised for non-religious reasons. And as in the Sleeping Beauty Pharaoh tale, the only reason for circumcision in the US is the creation of perfect slaves. We're all their slaves now. Whites, blacks, Muslims, these are our, are our masters, the pharaohs, and octagon their base. The whole of humanity is their slave. And remember, my black brothers, it was the pharaohs who brought you into the U.S. in slave ships with the help of the Templars of Octogon, who owned most of the slave trader ships. It's interesting. The private Federal Reserve System, which issues fiat U.S. Federal Reserve's notes, is financially owned and controlled by the Crown from Switzerland. It says, it's quite interesting, the crown from Switzerland, Octagon, they rule the US. So especially since the Civil Rights Act of July 2nd, 1964, we became all alike, we're all slaves now. No matter what your race is, your color, your religion, we're all slaves of octogon.